You got to believe the pressure is on AMD. I know Josh talked about it already. He sold the stock the other day, of course, because the gain over the last three months was just extraordinary, up better than 80 percent. Christina Partsinevelos is following this story for us today and, and, and says, basically, don't look for AI to save the company this quarter. So what does that mean? Well, that means not this quarter, but it still means that the stock climb high because of just outlook and guidance. You guys already talked about it. Expectations are high. You talked about the stock being up 26 year to date. It's more than doubled since October. But that bar actually might be just a little bit high heading into the print, just based off of just the reports I've read, the, the, the consensus. Firstly, why is that? Intel's weak Q1 guide serves as, as a barometer for AMD since a large portion of AMD's business does consist of the same kind of business, traditional servers and personal computers. So that non-AI weakness in Q1 this current quarter has some rethinking their estimates. For example, AMD's EPS estimates, earnings per share, have come down about over 12 percent since October 1st. And then secondly, as Raymond James actually points out this morning, AMD's new AI GPU chip, the MI300, more specifically the MI300X, is only just starting to ship with AMD thus far announcing three major customers. That would be Microsoft, Meta, and Oracle. So that should drive momentum in the second second half of this year, not necessarily the first half. AMD estimates that its AI chip will bring in roughly $2 billion in revenue in 2024, but many are actually expecting that number to double, or I should say hoping that number, number will double this upcoming earnings, even if AMD's not an AI portion is weak right now. So that's where that whole thesis comes from, Scott. A bullish outlook for their AI GPU chip could offset any near-term weakness and help this stock out of earnings. But if we don't get that, then you may see a more negative or muted reaction in the stock. We'll see an OT uh, as well.